Here on Wall Street in the New York Stock Exchange, Volition are staging their Capital Markets Day. It's attended by Volition experts and key opinion leaders, analysts, and of course, those all important investors. And they're wanting to know the latest news on the animal and also human fields. What I like about these sort of presentations is of course we like to hear from the Volition people themselves, but we hear from the practitioners. And today we have practitioners from the human health side and also the veterinary side. These are the people who have to put into action the platforms that we will be talking about today. I'll start off with our mission, which is very simple, to save and improve lives of millions of people and animals worldwide. And uh, it's been a journey now of 13 years, and I think we've developed a fantastic platform and now we're really getting to the work where we can help uh, many, many people and animals in their daily lives to have a much better life. And there are over 50 million cases and over 11 million deaths a year from sepsis. Over 40% of deaths in children under five from sepsis. You've already heard reference to monitored care testing down there, now it's way away, but that's potentially extremely vulnerable to a huge volume of patients. At presentation at the hospital, this test may help to risk stratify and later in the hospital stay, this test will also enable to uh, monitor the disease progression as well as the response to the treatment. 84 million dogs in the United States. Half of them come in for an annual wellness test at least once a year. Every one of those dogs is an opportunity for us to have an affordable, accessible cancer screening test run on their dog. This is from PESCO. This is our point of care test. This will allow me to pull blood, get that sample, so Sophia's mom doesn't have to wait 36 hours. And when I'm using it for monitoring as well, I'll be able to get that right here. Uh, we are super excited, though, that the progress of the development is what we believe to be in the last phases of optimization. And the finance people in the room should be excited that that leads to some milestone payments. We were excited to see the monitoring paper released yesterday as well. So we feel great about the progress and we feel great about the enthusiasm for bringing this really novel approach to screening pets. I thought the, the presentation was terrific. I thought all the dialogue with the, with the doctors and the, the science folks just around the prospects for what they're doing with, with cancer for dogs was, was super helpful. I think there's a ton of upside there. Happy to see how the company is growing, you know, adding new products, new partnerships, and kind of transitioning to the commercial phase now. So I think it's a very good development overall. I saw it as an opportunity because I believe uh, man's best friend is going to save man. The revenue generator from the animal side will help fund the testing and uh, the FDA approval side for the humans. Finding out a little bit more about some of the integration with Heska and IDEX was really important. Um, it was great to hear from some of the doctors in uh, advisory panel that I haven't had the opportunity to speak to or hear from yet, so uh, it was great. Actually seeing that these are actual practitioners that are using the test and going to use the test and actually excited about them and their colleagues using it rather than the just, you know, corporate executives talking about the finance and stuff like that, you have a sense of the actual application of the test in practice. I think the potential is huge and it's really exciting. I think we've, we've potentially got a test which is better than all three of the current markers. In my hospital, it's a thousand bed hospital, we do about 350 of those basic tests a day and I would expect to do the same with a new cue. An A to help make the diagnosis of sepsis and then spot who's sicker and who's less sick and then as a monitoring test to see how people are responding to treatment. So I think all of it is very synergistic, but I think the vet for now watching the rollout over the next few months and next few quarters of this test is going to be really interesting. And I'm very curious to see what the scale of this company looks like when it's at full distribution, like they were talking about, because it's nowhere close today. This year, we are making a difference because we are showing tangibly commercial results. We are in the human space. It's a regulated market, so we cannot change things from one day to the next. But I'm sure that we are following the right um, roadmap, and uh, this will uh, give us a lot of success in the, in the following months and years. Oh, I think it's been an amazing reaction. It, it couldn't have been better. And we have a real mix of new investors, old investors. And actually at the forefront, we really put some of the newer people to the company who've joined us since we became a company of products. And to hear from them, people who deal with this 
these life-threatening conditions day in, day out has been absolutely heartwarming and it, it could not have made me happier.